Michael Nagy here with JJ Jack TV, and I'm here with DJ Matt V. Christ. How are you doing today? Good, how are you, sir? Doing good, doing good. Now, we're here at the uh, Steampunk 2019 Con, Vampire Freaks, and uh, Matt's going to tell us about himself. Uh, well, I'm a DJ and event manager in the New York area. I do a lot of different dark scene and goth events. Uh, one of my main events is Underworld, which takes place right now at the uh, St. Vitus Bar every uh, third Friday, which is in uh, Greenpoint, Brooklyn. Um, I've done every uh, dark side event since the Vampire Freak started doing them, and this is uh, this is my first time with them. Um, awesome. I'm also the uh, production manager um, for the Endless Night Vampire Ball, which takes place all over the world. Awesome. Now, what got you into DJ? Uh, well, I actually went to school for music and audio production. Okay. Um, and uh, one of the first jobs I got after I finished school was uh, with a small um, uh, band booking company that booked uh, bands at like clubs all over the city. So I made my own club contacts. Um, and I just, you know, met like-minded people that like the same music as me, and I started doing my own thing, and I just started DJing. Awesome. And why this type of style of music? Well, I mean, it's just always been what's most appealed to me. Um, I know we did a panel at Dark Side, actually, where we talked about some of this stuff, one of the earlier things that exposed to us, like, um, we actually mentioned the movie Batman Returns, because they had Susie and the Banshees on the soundtrack, and that song, Face to Face, was just such a great song. Um, and that exposed us to other things, made, made me go backwards and discover more of the music. I actually had um, somebody ask me last night, they're like, how do you know all this, all this old school music? Don't you only like 27? <laughs> a little more than 27. But um, I don't know, I just discovered everything backwards and it just appealed to me more than like, you know, top 40 shit that's coming out now. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Now, um, do you make your own music too? Or? I do. I mean, I haven't in a while, but I do. I've recorded several of my own songs, uh, just on my own home, like Pro Tools set up. Um, I play them once in a while. I don't like. I don't. I try not to make it about my music though. It's about everybody. It's not about showcasing things that I do only. So you take requests and stuff for the band. Oh, absolutely, I try. You yeah, know. That's cool. And there have been times where I've downloaded stuff on the fly from at a place that has Wi-Fi because they don't. But I don't have a show. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Well now I've been, we've been doing events all over the U.S. and the world, so you're touring DJ then. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, the next thing I'm doing is um, Endless Night does kind of a private thing where they rent out a castle in the Austrian Alps. That is so cool. Um, so that's in about three weeks. Um, that's the next time I'm traveling. After that, there's gonna, we're going to have something like mid-fall, where we're, we're doing an event up in uh, Salem. And then at the end of October, of course, is the, endless, the big Endless Night event in uh, New Orleans. That's so cool. Especially this event here, Steampunk Con, it's awesome. Man. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, Jet and all Vampire Freaks, I work with them a lot as well. Um, they, all, they are very professional event promoters and I love doing things with them. Yeah, and I love the whole hotel takeover, like, that's so cool. Yeah, we do that as well. Um, there's an endless night we do in Vegas, um, where we, uh, we rent out a, uh, a hotel called The Artisan, which like we just take over the whole place and we have all our events inside the hotel. It seems like it's like a big thing with I mean, the bands all chilling out, playing DJs, I mean, it's, it's cool. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, that's when you realize, you know, how many like-minded people there are around the world that are into this music. I mean, we're an underground scene, so like I said, we're very far from Top 40, but there's so many people that are into it. It's, nice like, niche, it's, yeah. a, it's a great community. Now, your DJ name, how did that come to be? My, my real middle name is actually Christian. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. So that's where the Christ comes from. Interesting. Now, uh, if people want to look you up online, find you, how do they do that? Um, well, I'm on uh, Facebook as Matt B. Christ. I'm also on um, on uh, Instagram as Mr. B. Christ. Okay. Mr. B. Christ. Okay, well, to find your music and stuff all over. Well, you know, I did have a page on Vampire Freaks, but I learned yesterday that the Vampire Freaks social network is going down. Really? Why is that? Uh, well, Jet's been doing it for like 20 years. He said, like, you know, I want to focus more. This is more his story, not mine, but my understanding is he wants to focus more on event promotion and other things instead of just running the site. So he wants to expand and do other things. Like I said, he's been doing it for 20 years. He's still going to have the Vampire Freaks online store, as far as I understand, but the social network he is bringing down. But to talk to him about that, I, that's not my thing. I don't want to yeah, speak too yeah, much yeah. about somebody else's business. No, yeah, I totally understand. Well, good having you and talking to you. Thank you very Look much, it up. Sir.